Hi everyone. Hello. We are we are jumping right into everything today because I have so much to show you, including a super cute card. So we're just going to jump in. We're going to start with what's going on this month. We have so much going on in August. It's such a busy month. First up, if you're a Paper Pumpkin subscriber, um, the last day to sign up for Paper Pumpkin, if you're not a subscriber, is the 10th which is um this saturday but um this month is featuring it's a 3d project it's featuring um bags and tags but if you don't love the 3d stuff if you don't want the 3d stuff you can um purchase an add-on bundle for only ten dollars you can go to my online store here and you can purchase this add-on bundle which is 24 card bases so you can use your paper pumpkin kit to make cards um, if you don't purchase the add-on bundle, then you'll just use the supplies in the paper pumpkin kit to, to make the bags and tags, or you can um, turn those into your own cards if you have your own supplies. Okay, we're going to move on. Ex oh, uh, let's talk about bonus days first. Bonus days are here, you guys. Um, if you earned coupons in July, do not forget to spend them in August. Um, they do not carry over past August, so if you have coupons that you need to use, um, head to my online store, use those coupons because you can't use them beyond August. So make sure you're using those coupons this month. And finally, our extra extra promotion. This is where you purchase a starter kit. It's already an amazing deal. For um, $99, you get to choose $155 worth of products. Now, normally that $99 gets you $125 in product, um, but this month you're going to get an extra $30, which puts it at $155 in product. It's an incredible, incredible deal, and you can put the holiday, holiday catalog products that I'm going to show you in your starter kit if you love them. Okay, it's here, you guys. This goes live for customers on September 4th. If you are a demonstrator, you can pre-order now. If you would like to purchase that starter kit, you can put items from the holiday catalog in your pre-order. So that is such a great deal. And we're gonna go through these products. So I'm just gonna show you what I got in my pre-order. Um, these are some of my favorite, favorite products and I've been using them like crazy. I got my order on Saturday and I've been using a ton of them. And you'll see when we get to some of the designer series paper, I've already chopped up a lot of it. Um, so anything that you're going to see, you can put in your starter kit. If you are not a demonstrator, you're going to have to wait till September 4th to get it though. Okay. We are going to start with some bundles. We're going to start with dye bundles. And let me pull it out. We have this amazing one. This is a gather together bundle and it has some incredible framelits with, or dyes with them. Ooh, I keep saying framelits. Um, anyway, I love, love, love these greetings. This is going to be great for fall cards. I love the pumpkins. You can use those for Halloween too. It doesn't have to just be for Thanksgiving. Um, but these are just such fun, fun cards. This leaf is so pretty. And there's the leaf here. And these three dies, um, not only emboss, but they also cut. So such a fun bu bundle. This is the Gather Together bundle. Um, the dies themselves, ooh, I don't remember the names, they're just the plain dies. They are, let's see, the Gather Leaves dies. I really love this bundle. I've used this one already. I've used it some. So I'm excited about this. Okay, I'm just gonna have to pile it all up and then just put it somewhere to do our project. This one, this is the Cup of Christmas. Isn't it cute? And it also comes with dies. And these are so incredible. Look at this, this one right here. Um, it cuts a poinsettia, that super delicate poinsettia you can use. Um, there's also candy canes and tags and this striped mug. I can't wait to use this one. I haven't used it yet. Um, and I was so, most intrigued by this one, so I'm surprised I haven't broke it out. But this stamp set is so cool because these two stamps are reversible. So the, um, I'll pull one off real quick and then we'll show you the polka dot and the striped mug are completely reversible. So if you want your handle on the left or if you want your handle on the right, you can stamp it either way. It's completely reversible. It just depends on how you mount it onto your block. So that is pretty cool and I, I'm so intrigued by it, which is why I purchased it and I, st I haven't used this. This is maybe one of the only ones I haven't broken out yet, but I'm so excited to use it. So you can go either way. And then the um, dies also cut the mug in either direction, however you stamp it. So love that one. Okay, I have just some plain stamp sets, not plain. These are stamp sets that I did not get with a bundle. 
Um, there's the Nature's Beauty. This one is fantastic. This is um, in the very back of the catalog. Um, and $3 from every purchase of this will go to mental health organizations for um, funding. So just to fund some mental health. So, but it's so cute, isn't it? That bunny, it just kills me. I love it. I can't wait to color that one. Um, this one actually comes in a bundle. Um, that I didn't even realize until I had my catalog in person. I did not buy it in the bundle, um, but I love these greetings. I love this, no peeking till Christmas, have a sugar sprinkled seasons, peace and happiness, thinking of you at Christmas. I mean, such tons and tons of fun Christmas greetings. This one's gonna be a good one to have. You want that on your list. Okay, now all the rest of the stamp sets I have are bundled with punches, and you guys know I love a punch. I love punches, they are my favorite. Okay, so first punch bundle is the Merry Moose bundle. And this one is so cute. I've made a couple of cards with this one. And I love this one, a Merry Christmas right here. Um, enjoy the still stillness of the season. There's just some really fun greetings in here. And the Moose punch, so cute. And that fun raccoon. So that is one punch bundle. I'm gonna try to put the punches back. I don't have a place to put those and I don't want them to fall. Our next punch bundle is the snowman season bundle. And look at the snowman punch. So you get his arms, his body, his hat, and the little carrot nose all together. So fun. Um, and then the snowman season stamp set. I just love, love, love this stamp set. Um, I've also been playing with this one too and I, I love it. So you'll want to add that to your bundle or to your order your wish list. Um, next up is the perfectly plaid bundle. This comes with an amazing tree punch and this incredible stamp set. And it's like a distinctive stamp set. So when you stamp it, you're going to get all those like lighter and dark shades naturally. And this tree up at the top here, I just love can't wait to stamp that one. I've already stamped this one and it's beautiful. It came out incredible. Um, so I can't wait. I can't wait to show you guys all this stuff. I'm doing a lot of class planning so I can't show you the cards I made. Um, the next bundle that we have comes in a punch pack and this is the Christmas Gleaming Bundle and you get two punches and so you get the larger ornament and the small ornament. I'm gonna hold those up a little bit. I know that the glare is kind of bad in here and you can see my ceiling fan but um these are such cute punches I love them um and then this stamp set so pretty I've I've been playing with this one too so so pretty this greeting this Merry Christmas greeting I love that um kind of reverse where it's darker around the letters and the letters are white I love it I stamped it and just fell in love this is a rubber one but um love 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 Okay, our final punch bundle is probably my favorite though. Um, this is one that I have been using the most since Saturday, since I got this. Um, this is the Harvest Hellos. This is what we're using today actually. And it has a little apple punch. Now you don't have to use it for an apple because there's like a pumpkin, a little jack-o'-lantern face. Um, you can cut out half the apple. So, so, so fun. We're gonna use this one today. So I'm gonna set this aside. We're gonna go over this a little bit more later when we get to our card. I do still have a few more things to show you though. Okay, so for um, some dies, I just bought some dies without their bundle. This is one of them. This is the mini curvy keepsake box. Now if you've been around Stampin' Up! a while, you remember we used to have a larger one and you it only cut out um, half of it. You had to cut out two to make one box. This is a mini one. This one is much smaller. And I've already pre-cut some of them. And here's a little sneak peek of some paper too. But it is so tiny. They are so cute though. They're really tiny. But, um, and they actually fit inside the bigger one. If that gives you any kind of size comparison. Um, here's a little stampin' spot. That would fit perfectly in here. Um, let me just open one up so we can slide that in so you can gift a little stampin' spot. That would fit perfectly. Um, just to give you kind of a size. Or you can just fill it with a couple candies and it would be so cute. But isn't this so, so adorable? This little mini curvy keepsake. You'll definitely want that on your list. I'm going to forget that little ink spot is in there. <laughs> I'm going to be like, where'd my cherry cobbler spot go? Um, this embossing folder, this is the hammered metal embossing folder. Um, it doesn't, I mean, like this, it doesn't look like much, but when you emboss with it, it is pretty incredible. Um, so I can't wait to play with this some more. I haven't really played with this yet, but I can't wait to use this. 
Okay, let's get on to a few more accessories and then we'll move on to paper. I know you guys want to see some of the good stuff. Okay, this is um, glitter enamel dots, real red and garden green. And look at how many you get of each color. That's going to be fantastic for Christmas card making. You'll be able to use a ton of those. There are some holiday rhinestones. And look at how beautiful these colors are. Um, I don't even remember what colors these are, but they are so, so stunningly beautiful. So I can't wait to use those. This is some, oh, what is this called? Seaside Spray Metallic Ribbon. And I don't think the camera does it justice. It is so sparkly and so shiny. It's got lots of silver accents in it. It's stunning. It's beautiful. Now, do you guys remember that snowman punch I showed you? You guys will love this. This is the little snowman embellishment kit. Um, so you get the whole little box full. There's some glitter washi tape. There's some little snowballs, which would be great in a shaker card. And then there's lots of little felt embellishments. So you have, see there's a scarf. There's two scarves with different stitching on them. Um, there's a hat and then I, there's some mittens. So you can um, stick these onto your, onto your little snowman. Isn't that cute? And they come, those felt embellishments come in four colors, four different colors. Isn't that so cute? So you can dress up your snowman. So cute. And then there's some um, enamel enamel shapes to go with that too. So you have the, the snowman arms, nose, and then some coal for his buttons and eyes and stuff. So isn't that so sweet? So I love. So if you get that snowman bundle, you have to get this embellishment kit to go with it because it's going to be a good one. I love this. And the box is so cute. Okay. We're going to get onto some paper now. That's all I have left is paper. So let's move on to some paper. I didn't order too many of the papers. Um, just the ones that I knew I was going to use right away. I will be doing a paper share um, and you can look for that coming probably the end of the week. I'll be announcing that. Um, this is the wrapped in plaid and we're, I'm not going to go through every page, but I'll, um, I'll kind of fan it out a little bit. But these are fantastic and there's lots of gold on every page. So really, really beautiful. I'll fan some of those out. Really, really beautiful, beautiful patterns. And you can see I've like, I've already chopped up a lot of my patterns here. And there are just, there's so many in this little six by six stack. There's so many different patterns and they're all incredible. And then the reverse sides, um, they don't have the gold accents, but they have lots of beautiful, beautiful Christmas, um, scenes on them. There's the red and green stripes. You have pine cones. There's some trees over here. There's some larger trees. Polka dots, which would be great for Valentine's Day. Um, holly stockings. And then the backs of these. I mean, just lots of stuff. Here's your, a lot of your green patterns. You have um, green stripes, polka dots. This one is so cute. And that would just look like a sweater. I love it. And so really, really fun paper love this paper. We'll be using this a lot, especially at some upcoming classes. So love, love, love all the gold on this though. Okay. Our next paper is, I really love this paper. I haven't, oh, I haven't used it, but I sure love it. This is, I'm going to get this right. Mercury glass designer acetate. So isn't that cool? It's so it's, um, Acetate, so you can see through parts of it, but there's like this amazing fun textured pattern on it. I know you guys are getting a bright glare from there. I want to get the other sheet out though. So, but isn't that incredible? Let me kind of pick these up so it's away from the lamp. I just love these. I, I'm going to figure out an amazing project with this, but I just love it. I love it a lot. Okay. We have, oh, God. they're all stuck together. I'm going to put these away we've already done I gotta put away okay we have a couple more papers to go through this is the come to gather paper so this one goes with the the first bundle that I showed you the leaves and the pumpkins and you can see I've already started using this one too I've already chopped it up this page I just love it. it looks like notebook paper to me I just love and then the back is so pretty so lots of really beautiful fall colors in here um, fun little pumpkins this amazing wood texture background. I can't wait to use that. Some more pumpkins. It's just amazing, amazing fall colors in here. 
this one I love too. I just love that. And I'm not really a busy pattern kind of person, but I really, really love that. Those feathers, beautiful, beautiful paper. And there's some more of that notebook paper, I'm going to call it. These pumpkins, I just love them. And in the back is some more gingham. Just amazing, stunning paper, you guys. This one I also love. This one, it looks like um, polka dots on linen. It's so pretty. I just love it. I can't wait to use it. And then the reverse is just some fall leaves. Really, really pretty. So that is the Come Together DSP. I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to clean all this up after the video. I'm not even going to try to put it back in the package right now. And then the final DSP that I got is the Let It Snow Designer Series Paper. And this goes with the Snowmans that I showed you earlier. This is part of that bundle. The Snowman bundle. Let me put that away. But I've already chopped up this one too. You guys can see. But the amazing thing about this one is on one side there's like this glitter... Um, glitter accents on them. So, so pretty. Isn't that a cute page? Um, let's see what else. So there's little snowmans and then some coastal cabana dots. Just looks like snow. So pretty. I'm going to move these out of the way as soon as we go through them. Okay. And then these snowmen, oh, so cute. They are, they're glittery. They're shiny. So, so cute. And then some nice red stripes on that side. We're spending a little too much time. We're gonna, this is gonna be a long video if we don't wrap this up. Um, I love these stripes, mittens. I love these colors. Anything with Coastal Cabana, I think I love. And then these snowmen, they're also, they all have that glitter too. And then some red, I think it's, I wanna say, I think it's real red, I don't know. It might be Poppy Burrito, I gotta look. Um, and then here's that other pattern that I showed you to begin with. And hats, and the hats are glittery, they're little brims and stuff, and then snowflakes on the other side. So that is, that is a quick sneak peek at the holiday catalog. Now if you loved anything you saw and you want it right away, please consider buying, purchasing that starter kit. It is an incredible deal. You can join my team. We have so much fun on my team. We do so many fun things. I just mailed out yesterday a lot of um, virtual meeting um, class packets, make and take packets. We have a virtual meeting coming up in a couple of, or next week, it's next week. And um, so I just mailed out all their make and takes. So um, they'll join me live via video and we'll just make the make and takes together and we'll do a little meeting. Um, and then we have in-person events too. I have an amazing, amazing in-person event in September for my team. So if you want more details on that, please contact me. Um, the starter kit again with that extra, extra promotion, you're going to get $155 in product for only $99. So it's an incredible deal and you can put a lot of that stuff in there from the holiday catalog. Okay, we're going to move on to the card. This is the card we're making today using that Harvest Hello stamp set. Isn't it adorable? You guys, I was so excited when I made this card. So we're going to make this card. We're just going to jump right into it because I don't want this video to be super long. And I think, I mean, I'm already over 20 minutes into it. So we got to move along here, people. Okay. We're going to start with our apples. We're going to punch our apples, stamp and punch our apples. So I have a piece of real red cardstock. I'm going to get some real red ink. And I didn't get out any of my stamps. Oh, I thought I was so prepared. I'm going to have to get a block out. Okay. I'm going to get our apple stamp out. Okay, we are going, so I'm just going to stamp four of these. You need four apples, so I'm just going to stamp them. You can stamp them on white if you want to color them, maybe with our blends or watercolor. You can always do that. Um, I just chose to do it red on red and make it easy. And you can have any color apple you want. Of course, you don't have to have a red apple. Okay, now I am going to cut these apart down the center because, and I'll show you in just a second, because if I had left it the way it was, the punch cuts out the leaf and the stem on the top. So when I would have put this in here, it would have punched into that other apple, which I did not want. So we're just going to punch these real quick all along. Let me line this up and this, this cute little apple image. Oh, I'm so excited. Some of the projects that I've already made, I just love, love, love with this. And this is perfect for back to school. School starts on Monday. So excited. 
The kids are, well, my son is excited. He's ready to go back. My daughter is fighting it, but school starts Monday, like it or not. All right, we are going to go in. I'm going to, this is some pear pizzazz. I'm going to punch four leaves. I want one, and I'm just using a little scrap here. Two, three, four leaves, four. Okay, I get all my little bits out of the way. Okay, and then we're gonna go in and we're gonna punch four apple stems using crumb cake. Now, all of these stamps are in the set. So you do have like a stem in here and you do have a, a leaf there, but um, I was really just keeping this simple. So we are not, we don't need to go through any of the stamping of those. You absolutely can if you want to, but I am keeping it super simple. Okay, so we're gonna pull out our stems and our little mess of mess of punches here. Okay, perfect. So we have all of our apple parts. Oh, I think I threw away a stem. Okay, no worries. We'll just punch one more. Okay, here we are. Four stems, four apples, four leaves. Okay, we are going to assemble them. Now I am going to make this really easy on myself. I'm gonna turn these all upside down and I'm using fast fuse. Um, Use your snail or whatever you have. I have a lot of fast fuse I really need to use up, so I'm using fast fuse. So I just stick a little bit of that on the back and then on the back of each of these, I'm just sticking a leaf and a stem and that's all I'm doing. So you can use um, liquid glue, you can use glue dots, you can stick them on however you want. I am just using fast fuse and I'm making sure that some of my leaves go in the other direction. So let's see, I want this one to go over here. Make sure that they poke up differently. And the apple leaves don't always come off the tree perfectly, you guys. So you don't be too particular about, oh, my apple leaf is facing the wrong way. It doesn't look good. You guys, if you've ever picked apples, you know, they go everywhere. Okay, I have done a little bit of prep work, although I just realized I do not have a punch. So hang on one sec, let me grab it. Okay, I needed the, what is this called? The trio punch. I needed that for our basket. I've already run this piece through the basket weave embossing folder and this is three and a half by three and I'm going to curve the bottom corners on here. So I'm gonna stick that in there and just curve my bottom corners on my basket. Oh, that didn't work well. What did I do? Perfect, there we go. I must have moved it when it was in there. And I have for our, the little rim of our basket, I have this piece, which is, let me measure it real quick, three and three quarters by one. So it's three and three quarters by one. And I'm gonna put this in and round all four sides. And I am gonna make sure I don't move this one. This one kept wanting to move when I was making my sample and it wasn't cutting right. Why isn't that up? And now it's doing it again. Don't do it on camera. There it goes and just want to make sure it's in there nice and snug in the corner is what you want and then just make sure you hold it so it's nice and then if you have any little ragged ends just trim them off there we go so we cur curved all those corners all right i'm gonna put that a punch away don't need that anymore i'm gonna pull in some crumb cake ink and i'm gonna move my apples off to the side for a minute i'm gonna put those over there for just a second and my crumb cake ink, and I just wanna give some texture and dimension to the basket, so I have a little sponge dauber, and I'm just gonna go around the outside of the basket. For this one, the one that's embossed, you only need to do the three sides. This little top rim is gonna get all covered, so you don't have to worry about that one. If you wanted to go in and do some texturing on the basket itself, you absolutely could do that. And then for the rim of the basket, I'm gonna go around the rim with my sponge dauber and just give that some texture. Just make it look like you've actually been out in the orchard all day picking apples. All right, we're done with that ink pad. We're moving along, you guys. We're gonna stamp our greeting. Now my greeting is coming from, I didn't get that one out either, the Country Home stamp set. We're gonna use Happy Harvest Blessings, which I thought was cute. Where is it? Here it is. Man, I thought I was so prepared. I 
Yes, not. I got all my ink out, but I didn't mount any of my stamp sets. For the greeting, we're gonna use some soft suede ink. I'm gonna ink that up. And I'm going to stamp that right more on the left side of my mug, or on my, what was I thinking, mug. Good grief, you guys, can you tell we need school to start here? Okay, we have our pieces, we have our bits, we are ready to assemble. That is all the stamping and inking we're gonna do. So we're gonna start assembling. So I have a piece of pool party, which is four by five and a quarter. And then of course I have a card base, which is five and a half by eight and a half scored at four and a quarter. Let me get a bone folder. Okay, we're gonna assemble everything onto our pool party piece though, and then we'll adhere to the to the pear pizzazz card base. So I'm gonna start with my basket. I'm gonna put quite a bit of adhesive. The basket we folder is pretty incredible and it gives lots of texture, but all that texture means it's a little harder to glue down because you don't have as many um, exposed cardstock to glue down. So that's gonna go down, so cute. We're gonna add the little rim of our, our basket top up here. So I'm gonna use some dimensionals for that. I'm just gonna go around, along the, the rim there, just add three. We're gonna add this to the top of our basket. So cute, make sure that's nice and straight, looks pretty good. We're gonna put one apple down on the bottom with some dimensionals. So I'm just gonna put a couple on there. Of course you can put more if you wanted to, and actually I'm gonna do one more just over those, that stem and that leaf, just to make sure it holds. And I'm just gonna set that down here, right on top of the basket. Two of our apples are gonna get adhered straight down to the card. So that one's gonna go just like that. And then I think I'll put this one back there too. So I'm gonna put this one on and that's gonna go, you don't, don't want it to hang over too much because then it'll hang over your card. That one's gonna go on flat just like that and then we're gonna use dimensionals and pop up this apple. So, so cute, you guys. Now, I do have, I'm gonna show you another card as soon as I'm done making this one. Now, if you are not part of my VIP group, make sure you join my VIP group because I will be going live. Oh, that dimensional is in the way. I'm gonna have to trim my apple a little bit. I'll be going live in my VIP group tomorrow to share another card. And I'm gonna show you the card that we're gonna make in my VIP group. So if you're not part of my VIP group, you need to join because the card we're making tomorrow is amazing. I don't know which one I like better, this one or the one we're making tomorrow. But you'll want to make sure you join my VIP group and I'll add a link to the, my VIP group in the comments as soon as the video is done. But make sure you join. There are no requirements to join. You don't have to place an order or do anything. It's just um, because of Facebook analytics, it's just you see my posts more often in my group rather than my page. So that's really the only reason I have it. But I do share exclusive stuff in there, so you do want to make sure you're part of my group. But that's our card, you guys. Isn't it cute? So, so stinking cute. The little card. Okay. Now, if you want to see another card featuring this same stamp set, we're going to use the um, Harvest Hello stamp set. In my VIP group tomorrow, we're going to make this card. Oh my gosh, you guys. Isn't it so cool? And the this is covered with glitter. So cute. Okay, that's all you're gonna get. If you wanna see the rest of it, you, you wanna see how to make it, you gotta join my VIP group. I will be live in that group tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. So make sure you join my VIP group by tomorrow to be a part of that Facebook Live. All right, guys, if you guys need any supplies, please head to my website, use this host code. This is the August host code. I would greatly appreciate any orders. And if you have any questions, please let me know, otherwise, I will see you guys tomorrow in my VIP group and next week maybe. Thanks for joining. Bye.